you can now make games out of images. Sounds crazy. You don't have to even prompt anything. Just drag and drop a picture and get a game. Just like the one you see now, that's the image that was used for the game. Kind of a forest, uh, has some greenery, flowers, a character, and all of it was made into a game. This is Rosebud AI. My name is Kier and I'm joined by Jason as usual. Hi, Jason. Hey, everyone. I know, Jason, you made a couple of more games just like this one. All I needed in my prompt was make this in 3D, replicate the lighting and color and vibes, and then the image. And I was able to get this. And starting off on the right foot like this is can make projects go really well. So super cool. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I see some Z fighting and we talk about yeah, Z fighting in our fun. previous video about Gemini. So yes. check it out if you're interested. Use the same prompt, had this funny Pikachu image and here we go. Wow. So it made two Pikachus just yes. like in the picture exactly. and with the forest, also greenery. And not only you can use an image to start making a game, you can actually use screenshots and other images to add things to a game. You can take a screenshot and say, the Pikachu on the right, I see super size. Oh. This is a really big Pikachu here. Wow. Yeah. I think we should make something new from scratch so no one thinks we are faking it. Okay, so we're on the homepage here. You see our big prompt bar and on the bottom left, you see our image attach button. I'm going to use this cute cartoon town. I can see that the prompt was autofilled. You can actually add things. For now, we can just send it and see what it can make. All right, we got a result. Pretty cool. I like that there's a windmill that is actually functional. Mm. For some reason, it has like a square spinning, but that works. So we clearly see some trees floating around. What if we zoom into some of it. Click screenshot. Right now, lots of things are floating. And that's all I need to say because the image can clarify. We got some changes. The tree is not floating anymore. This definitely worked. We made a game out of the image, made some fixes. You can continue working on it, but we want to show you some other examples of what you can make from images. Now, this is some sort of a racing game. Let's actually try to make our own game out of it. Let's change the prompt this time and specify that this should be a racing game. All right. So I can say make this into a 3D racing game. If the lighting color vibes and interface because there's some interface yes, there you go all right the picture is sent wow that is definitely something i wanted to make yeah, i like the nice interface nice glow and i like that the time is there it actually worked so it followed the directions another game from another image and just one prompt maybe one thing we can improve here is to make it more obvious that the car is moving that the car is moving all right we have our fixes. I yep, love this. Absolutely. This is great. Now it's up to your imagination what you can improve in this game. You can add power-ups, you can replace the car with another one and uh, make it more and more fun. I think now we should try something very different. We haven't tried yet, like a Doom shooter. Cool, here's a perfect image of Doom. That's how I remember it. Make this into a fun FPS, replicate the lighting, color, vibes, and gameplay. I didn't want to mention Doom, so I can let Rosie figure that out herself, but I mentioned FPS and gameplay. We got our Doom game. Okay, so we have a gun, we have the environment, and these are the NPCs that are taking over you. Can you shoot them? Yeah, I can shoot them. This is awesome. Wow. They're responding. I think this is amazing for a first prompt. Can you walk through the walls? Whoa, no, I can't. can't. Physics is working. This is a really good start. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think now we need to make something less cruel without <laughs> killing anyone. I just made this uh, image on chat GPT and let's see if we can actually make it into a game that is 3D. It's like a cozy room vibes. Oh wow, this actually looks really good. Only thing is the window is uh, yeah, oriented wrong, the yeah. other way around, but this can be fixed easily. I'm oh yeah, sure. easily. Yeah. The plant is here, the shelf, even like the little rug there under the bed. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I like the light from the lamp. Oh yeah, no, that helps a lot. Let's actually be ambitious here and take screenshot of all the problems. Right now the window is oriented wrong and the shelf is too close to the frame. Also the frame is z-fighting with the wall. Okay, oh, really? let's see. So the window is now in the correct position. Art mm -hmm. is still is a little funky. The main thing is that you had like a strong start things that are left to fix are minor things you can take screenshots of and tell Rosie about. Having that strong foundation makes everything else go really smoothly. This is a very typical view of Minecraft, kind of more of a big picture. You have some water features, some hills. Let's see if uh, Rosemary I can make it. So I said make this scene into a cool 3D game environment, replicate the lighting, color and vibes, make sure it looks accurate. All right, we got the result and um, it looks pretty good. This is yeah. Minecraft. We need to make sure yeah. the water is not missing and then we're pretty much... Yeah, one or two more prompts of water and then you're good to go. What if we attach the same image and say like, make sure there's the same water? All right, make sure this has the same body of water though. We got some water. And just like that, you can make any game you want just out of images on Rosebud AI. Try it out, make some games. You can also iterate and change your games with images or screenshots, fix some bugs, move things around. It's very useful. Share what you make on our Discord. We love seeing your games. And we'll see you in the next video. See y'all.